The top speed record in MotoGP is currently a whopping 225 miles per hour, held by two riders and manufacturers. What did you know? If we took the fairing off of a 1955 Moto Guzzi V8 and fitted it to one of these bikes, their top speed would now be 260 miles per hour. So why don't the MotoGP engineers walk into a collector's garage and ask kindly to borrow a Guzzi fairing? The Goosey had a CDA value, or coefficient of drag, times its cross-sectional area of around 0.19 square meters. While a current MotoGP bike has a CDA closer to 0.3. If we ignore the gearing, it is primarily the aerodynamic drag and power output that limits a vehicle's top speed. So with only 80 horsepower, the Goosey could reach speeds above 170 miles per hour in the 1950s while the torpedo or dustbin fairings significantly improved the top speed of the motorcycles at the time, they were also very dangerous. A dustbin fairing creates a center of air pressure that is ahead of the motorcycle's center of gravity. This means that at high speeds the rider has to fight a strong yaw force trying to force the motorcycle left or right, making the bike very unstable. Because of the dangers with dustbin fairings and crosswinds, the FIM banned them from racing in 1958. Modern MotoGP fairings still look pretty wild, especially now with the latest winglet designs. So what's the deal with that? Modern MotoGP fairings are a compromise between several functions. They have to cover up a prone rider enough to minimize the energy that the rider has to spend staying on the bike and fighting turbulence at top speed. This is one of the most important functions of modern fairings, as a rider that spends less energy will be able to keep their consistency in long races. They also have to let enough air into the radiators. They also help keep the front wheel down when accelerating. The airfoils cannot create so much downforce as to exhaust the rider when turning into corners. And the airfoils cannot produce too much turbulence behind the rider. While the downforce produced by winglets has some advantages, they have the disadvantage of generating more aerodynamic drag force on the motorcycles, which as we know can lead to a lower top speed. So would it be better to just remove the winglets and thus get more top speed? Since the winglets also help to keep the front down during acceleration, it's not all that obvious that this is the case. On an infinitely long straight, removing the winglets would generate a higher top speed. But on a racetrack with limited length straights, where the rider has to accelerate out of a corner, winglets might actually help produce higher top speeds. I hope this helps you understand why the engineers in each of the teams play a crucial role in making the riders go fast around the track. Remember to subscribe to my channel. There is always something new to learn. It's gotta be against the lottery.